what you see here are bridge templates, essentially. This is a bridge template. And these are our bridge blanks right here. We have them in a variety of woods. We've got some rose wood. We've got tiger wood, Brazilian cherry. We've got paduk, maple, purple heart. Uh, for this example, I'm going to be using some rose wood. And this, this bridge right here is basically our template that we're going to make our tracing off of so that we make sure that we have the correct spacing in the cuts for our bridges for our strings to attach. It's really important that you make the mirror image each other so that you make your cuts on the correct side. So what I'm going to do is I take my piece of bridge blank and I'm going to mark, line it up, and I'm going to mark exactly where my cuts are going to go. Make sure you do it with pencil. If you do it with a sharpie, it might be too wide. A pencil or a ballpoint pen works great. So now we're going to do one of the hardest cuts that we've done on the bandsaw because this is not going to be flat. What we want to do is we want to hold it at an angle so we cut through the top layer of wood but we do not cut into the bottom layer of wood. And we want our cut to stop right at this gap. This is because the strings, a knot will be tied in the string, it's going to fall into this gap and it's going to wedge itself into this cut. bottom of the cut goes all the way through. It's really important that it goes all the way through this piece of wood here because the knot needs to sit in there. If your cut is made too shallow, you might have to chisel it out with an exacto knife, which would be very painful. What I've done now is I've measured the distance from this cut to the end here, and I'm going to make it match this cut to the end so that I end up with a symmetrical cut bridge. I've marked that. It should be between 10 and 20 millimeters. But the key to this bridge being successful is that it's going to be strong, so we're making an auto hollow hardwood, dense hardwood, but it needs to be light to allow as much resonation as possible. So what we're going to do is you want to take as much weight away from this while still maintaining the strength. For that, we're going to end up beveling our edge here and beveling our edge here. We don't want to cut it straight off and straight off, which would make it lighter, but then that would cut down on the surface area of the glue that's going to attach to the face of our instrument. We want to make it as light as possible while still maintaining a large surface area and still keeping the strength, especially in this core area. It's important that you don't mess too much with this as this might become your bridge if you don't put a bridge insert. Mm -hmm. 